It's widely known that having an underfunctioning thyroid, known as hypothyroidism, is associated with a low energy and impaired metabolism and certain other symptoms. But what's not widely understood is that the functions that we attribute to thyroid hormones are actually primarily related to the mitochondria, the little energy producing units in our cells. Uh, when thyroid hormone uh, gets into the cell, it binds to receptors in the nucleus of the cell, and ultimately leads to changes in gene expression that tell the mitochondria to make more energy. So when a person has hypothyroidism, they go on the right uh, the correct treatment to correct that hypothyroidism, they say, hey, I've got more energy. Um, it's because those there's enough thyroid hormone kicking around in the body at that point to tell the mitochondria to make more energy. So it's important to realize the relationship between thyroid hormone and the mitochondria because unfortunately in some cases going on corrective therapy for the thyroid to make all the numbers look pretty on a follow-up blood panel don't that doesn't always translate into the patient feeling better and what I found in those cases is that typically we need to take it a step deeper and actually start working on supporting the mitochondrial function because without the mitochondria the thyroid can't impact energy or metabolism at all.